Do you remember the last time you paid for something online? Or the last time you applied for a job or checked your health metrics? Do you think your data is safe? Maybe you didn't know it, but existing British privacy rights protect us from faceless data brokers buying and selling our data in secret and without our knowledge. But this could change if the upcoming UK-US trade agreements force us to weaken our data protection standards. This could turn our privacy into a bargaining chip and make it easier for corporations to judge, manipulate and discriminate against us. So, what will be the consequences for our privacy in the UK? And what will be the impacts on our fundamental rights and liberties? Lawmakers came out swinging against Amazon, Apple, Alphabet, and Facebook. New York insurance regulators have opened an investigation into United Health Group over an algorithm they say is racially biased. The thing about algorithms is that once you start looking for them, they're everywhere. British privacy laws ensure that we control our personal data and are protected from privacy violations. But this could come to an end in 2021 if politicians agree to throw away our privacy standards as part of a trade agreement with the US. Selling our privacy to the highest bidder would mean that our data protection rights will become very hard to enforce. Our data could be transferred to the US and end up in the hands of really dodgy companies. And there will be little to protect us legally. Most shockingly, if a UK court tries to intervene to protect its citizens' rights against widespread abuses, then the UK could face massive fines for breaching the trade agreement. Here's how this works now. If a company creates a file about you, you have the right to know what's in it. But in US law, there's no way for you to demand to know what data or information companies store about you. The US is a data wild west, and fettered trade could mean accepting US companies using your data under US law. Without proper legal safeguards for our data, our data can be bought and sold across borders. Faceless data brokers will buy and sell our data and we won't have any control over it. Our shopping habits and financial and spending habits could be available to the highest bidders. We might get turned down for a credit card, a loan or a mortgage based on information sold in secret that we cannot access. They can even buy and sell information as intimate as our genetic data. And here's why it gets even worse. In the UK, it would be unlawful for companies to handle stolen health and genetic data, but not in the US. And whilst in the UK, the companies are responsible to ensure personal data is secure and held accountable for any security breaches, this is not the case in the US. We're constantly being scrutinized by machines, algorithms that look at millions of people's behavior, subtle patterns. It's through our digital footprints that algorithms create intimate and detailed profiles about us. Algorithms are just complicated maths to make decisions based on data and patterns. But since they're not transparent, we can't know what they're deciding about us. They're not neutral and commercial algorithms aren't open for public scrutiny. We don't know what they're designed to do. They're a black box. In April of 2017, United Airlines dragged out a passenger from an airplane in Chicago. The passenger had paid for his ticket just like everyone else. His documents were in order, but suddenly the crew members asked him to leave the plane. And when he gently refused, security dragged him out. It turned out that the airline did what they usually do, overbooking. In other words, selling more tickets than the seats the aeroplane has. So they asked their algorithm to choose a passenger to expel from the plane. No one knows why he was chosen. The algorithm did the dirty work for them. But algorithms are never neutral. Decisions made by algorithms can have grave and unintended consequences. Algorithms may be making hidden decisions, causing discrimination, making bad HR recommendations, denying housing or rental agreements, changing prices according to who you seem to be, and making bad credit or insurance decisions. 
Could I pay to target predominantly black zip codes and advertise them the incorrect election date? There's a widespread failure of automated systems to support the poorest and the most vulnerable communities in the richest country on the planet. The inability to hold the corporations behind these algorithms to account shows why we need to protect our citizens. Your company does access data on third-party sellers. Trade agreements with the US could ban our regulators from checking how algorithms are working. It could be a trade violation to allow investigators to see how they work, except when ordered by a court. The UK privacy regulator has the power to look at algorithms, but trade agreements could make their investigations impossible. Would you really trust private companies to act fairly when they act in secret and cannot be held accountable by regulators? If we give away our digital rights, we won't be able to scrutinize, detect, investigate, and stop algorithms from negatively impacting our lives. Your privacy must not become a bargaining chip in trade agreements. And accountable corporations must not exert control over people's fundamental rights and liberties. Parliament must not lose its ability to protect the rights of our citizens. We have to stop this data power grab. Our rights and liberties can't be sold to the highest bidder. The clock is ticking. Your voice can make all the difference. Take action now.